Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. How are you doing Libra? I hope you guys are doing amazing. We're shuffling the deck right now and we have already have two cards that flew out. The first one here is the Strength card. Uh, could represent dealing with a Leo type of energy. This could be your energy as well as you do have next to that we have the justice card so this is your card here libra i see you guys being very empowered um coming into your power this is being confident uh, this is believing in yourself or even being certain when it comes to decision making um which is definitely a beautiful a beautiful energy uh, because libras are known for being a bit indecisive <laughs> So I definitely see you guys uh, knowing exactly what it is that you want and not hesitating to go towards it. A very empowering type of energy, Libra. All right, let's see what we got. We got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, definitely very empowered. New beginning coming towards you, Libras. Six of Swords moving on from a situation or a circumstance from the past. Five of Pentacles could represent feeling like... Um, Someone walked away in this connection. This could have been you or this could have been a feeling of rejection because it is underneath the strength card here. However, we do have the four of wands and the four of wands is right at the center, which is the center of the matter here or the matter of the center uh, representing wanting to go towards stability, wanting to manifest some type of long term uh, commitment or uh rebuilding of some type of connection here we also have the king of cups maybe dealing with water energy pisces cancer scorpio type of energy it could be you walking away from that energy as well we do have here the nine of swords anxiety worries um with the king of pentacles wow we have two kings here so the king of pentacles could represent earth energy cancer sorry not cancer um capricorn taurus virgo type of energy and we have the two of swords two of swords could represent feeling a bit stuck not knowing um not knowing really who to tr who to trust um i was gonna say trust before i even seen this card um but i did glance at it so we're gonna take it as a message seven of swords could represent oh and we have that we got cards flying out what was the nine i seen the nine here Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna. All right, so the seven of swords could represent uh, dealing with a situation where you feel like you can't fully trust um, information that is coming through for you. Um, with the ace of wands, I feel that there was some type of connection uh, that could have started almost like feeling like the signs, the universe is trying to guide you. Um, brought to you a new opportunity with the six of swords wanting to move forward wanting to uh solidify something now this could be a relationship this could be a partnership this could have been a person that you were dealing with but there was some type of rejection here or i should say you felt there was a feeling of rejection the reason I say you felt is because we do have the nine of swords and the two of swords, and these are air energy. So it's thoughts. This is what we think about. Um, so there was some type of hesitation. Uh, it could have been that misinformation was being given to you about this individual. It could have been that other people got involved. We do have two kings here. So it could represent other outs, uh, outside interference in regards to this connection. However, I do see you guys coming together in a situation for some it could be a celebratory type of energy where there is going to be a lot of things that are going to be cleared out i feel that things are becoming more clear this could be that you get the opportunity to communicate um and both of you guys kind of bring your guards down and completely open up king of cups could also represent becoming emotionally available so i feel like heart to heart type of conversation here with the king of pentacles could represent an individual, like I said, an earth energy, but it can also represent um, being able to pick up where things were left off. So if you are dealing with a situation where 
uh, there was some type of ending of communication or you're no longer dealing with this individual. I feel that there's going to be a circumstance or situation that happens in March where there is some type of celebration that is taking place. It could be that you bump into them. Uh, it could be that they communicate with you when you are around people or celebrating something. Um, and I see them being open, emotionally open. So I feel that they're being honest or transparent in regards to their intentions or feelings towards you. Or this could be you, Libra, uh, confessing something. I feel that it could be that for some of you guys, you've been hiding your feelings or not being completely honest about your feelings towards this person that really has your attention. And I feel you really like into um, into your head, a lot of doubts, a lot of fears in the past. But I feel that you're detaching from that and you're becoming more confident or believing more in yourself and knowing um, even like speaking your truth. If if it's almost like I'm sensing people have gotten involved in this situation or have gotten between you and the person of your interest, but that's no longer going to be the issue. I feel that there is transparency here on both sides, on your side, Libra, as well as on the person's side that is interested in you, because I definitely do see that there is a connection here with the Ace of Wands, uh, passion, uh, connection, uh, desire to want to bring some type of stability or some type of connection uh, to solidify that connection. So I definitely do see you guys being, um, I feel like it's almost like uh, spirit's way of bringing you guys together to clear the air. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're coming in more empowered. You're coming in more in your power. Like you know exactly what you want and you're not afraid or you're not holding back. And that is a beautiful energy, Libra, because you guys have a tendency of doubting yourselves or a tendency of being uncertain, not really acting on a spontaneous type of feeling. I feel that you guys are very methodical even, um, but I feel that you're pretty much tossing what's been weighing heavy on your mind. You're tossing it to the wind and you're going for what you want, which is exactly a very empowering type of energy. Now with the nine of swords here and the two of swords, there is almost like a disconnect from things that have been preventing you moving forward in this connection. For some of you guys, it could be um, that you feel like you may, maybe people around you don't really want you to have this connection or uh, they feel some type of way in regards to the person that you're dealing with. However, I feel that you are no longer in this two of swords, uh, no longer feeling confused. I feel that uh, this coming full moon uh, you're definitely going to know uh, with power or know with clarity what it is exactly that you want. King of Pentacles is that of um, empowered energy. It's that of being grounded. It's that of uh, seeing the signs and really, you know, going with it um, or trusting the path that you're supposed to be on and you will be on Libra. Let me see what Spirit's message is in regards to this situation. What are the messages in regards to Libra and the person of their interest. Leaving you hurt me too. So I feel again like there was some t someone walked away from this connection. Um, and I feel that if you've been feeling or doubting uh, that it didn't affect them, Libra, they are definitely on their in their feelings about this as well. Obviously, they did take notice. Obviously, it did affect them in some shape, way or form. Your next card here is, I hope you're happy for me. Um, this could indicate, uh, you know, that they constantly think of you or that you think of them and, and they're wanting the best for you and maybe understanding that maybe they feel like you weren't ready for this connection. Maybe it could have been you that feels they weren't ready for your connection with them. Um, but I feel very likely like uh, spirit is definitely is definitely having their hand in this situation and I feel that there is a coming together here uh, for the majority of you. Your next card is I never want to feel that way again. I feel heavily you guys like someone was rejected or someone felt rejected um, and I feel that maybe it tested them or maybe it tested you Libra and made you question yourself or your worth um, but maybe this was necessary. Maybe it was necessary because when you doubt yourself, 
we start to, when we doubt ourselves, we start to have a lot of negative like thoughts, right? And then people around us kind of influence the way we're feeling or thinking. Maybe they were giving you negative feedback. Maybe they were being sneaky. Maybe they weren't being completely honest. Um, but I feel that that's the reason why spirit is saying they're stepping in and they are guiding you. They are making this connection happen regardless of outside interference, uh, which is a very strong message that I'm getting here. All right, let's see what spirit's direct message is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to this connection. What is the direct message you want to communicate to Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay. And we, yeah, this is exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so we have uh, 23. This is, um, this is about feeling that there was a loss in this connection. It could be the feeling of there was a missed opportunity here. Um, but here is something that I tell all my clients and, you know, the thing about it is sometimes when we feel like we missed an opportunity, what is meant for you will never pass you by, Libra. Um, what's for you is going to be for you, regardless of outside interference, regardless of other people, um, you know, getting involved, uh, making things more confusing. Uh, this is about filth, right? This is about... Um, someone lacking some type of humility. Uh, and I feel that it could have been a situation where whoever was influencing you or whoever was talking about the person of your interest, if there was information that was shared, they were being, they were being petty. They weren't being honest. Um, it could be that they feel like they're better than you in some shape, way, or form. Um, and it could also represent that they may be interested in the person you're interested in. So my advice to you is those that are around you that you consider your friends, pay attention to the you know advice that they give you. Make sure that their advice is always to the best of your interest. If it's not, take it with a grain of salt. They may be trying to hinder or affect this connection because maybe they don't want it to happen. Do you see what I'm saying? And this could be vice versa. It is a general reading. So it could be the person that you're dealing with that is dealing with this type of energy as well. Like I said, regardless of what it is, what is for you, Libra, is never going to pass you by. Be confident. Be in your power. Believe in yourself. And know that things will come out to the best of your interest. Okay, my lovelies? I wish you guys the very best. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.